Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Duck Pond. For those new to the channel, what we do is we play a game throughout the week, um, try to beat it throughout the week. If we don't beat it, we'll still do a review on it. But at the end of the week, we review the game we did on, going over um, the basic story, the gameplay, and how well it's aged. Um, for those new again to the channel, and for those returning, in case you haven't played this game, spoilers. And without further ado, let's rip and tear into our review of Doom 2016. Now, the basic plot of the game. You're awakened on Mars. Come out of a coffin. Right away, there's all there's already some demon things there. Jump out, grab your pistol, boom, 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 start shooting, right? Wake up. The facility. Get your suit. You find out while you're in this facility that there's a lady named. So, what this company has been doing, taking demonic energies, Game World, Argent Energy is what it's called, and they were using it to create like more energy, more substantial energy. For the human race. Um, unfortunately. Um, that comes influencing of demons. And Olivia Pierce. Who is a lady in the game. And like she's one of the higher scientists. She let. She um. She's been comforted by it. Now she's wanting to open a hell portal. Let the demons. Take over the earth. Take over Mars. So your whole thing is about like pretty much like you have got to get to her. You gotta stop this hell portal from opening. Spoiler alert, it opens anyway. And then you have to close it. So you have to go through all that fun to get closing. So it's basically a doom sort of like again. This guy called you're known as the Doom Slayer. And Don't kill demons. Typical Doom plot line story, all that. Now, that's just a basic story. You go into the gameplay. Gameplay acts as a it's a first person shooter. You got your different kinds of guns. Like you get a pistol to start off with. You know, get a shotgun. Um, at a um, heavy assault rifle, get a super shotgun, you'll get a rocket launcher, get um, a plasma rifle, a gas cannon. And that's just the, like, the regular stuff you get. Um, you'll get different kinds of grenades in there as well as you also have two specialty weapons which have even less limited ammo. Gotta find that's a pain. And that is the BFG. But you get that towards the end of the game. So, like, I'm going to use it through almost the game. No, you get that towards the end. The BFG. But you get towards the beginning the chainsaw. And depending on how big the demon is or how strong the demon would be, depends on how much of the gas meter the chainsaw will use. So, like a regular, like, say, an imp. The regular type of enemy. It'll take one. Revenants take like three, I think. Um, Ancubus is take like four. I think Barons take like five or six. I mean, I'm not entirely 100% sure exactly how much they take. They take a lot. As you progress in the game, you're like, oh, I'm going to kill this thing. Well, that ain't happening. Unfortunately, you don't have the energy to do it. So. Because you don't have the energy to do it. You can't do a lot of the stuff, you know. And you can't chainsaw too. But you gotta conserve your ammo too, because if you well the chainsaw actually if you chainsaw an enemy, it'll um enemy drops ammunition. It can also drop health. That's a plus for you. Um health is blue things that you'll find around the stage that'll go. Green 
little shields or armor looking icon or like little plate armor plate icon that's your armor and you're also going to find in the game these things there's collectibles in the game like you find little doom guy figurines so those are fun to collect if you go through the game wanting to collect but the game has this thing called argent orbs i believe it's like argent You'll grab this orb, it'll crush. You have this red energy, electric energy to go through you. You absorb it, and it can increase, you can have five for each. And it can increase your ammo capacity. Which, when you do that, it'll refill your ammo all the way. Your health capacity, the same with health, and then your armor, which, same with armor. Use it, it refills back to the max. And you'll find those throughout your playthrough of the game. Um, you'll also find the guards. They're just slumped over the dead. But you go up to them and you press them. And you'll pull this chip out of their um, their chest armor. And you use that to upgrade your armor and stuff as well. Uh, the only thing is with upgrading weapons, you got to find these drones that are flying around. And find the drone and take out the drone. You, um, well, you don't take it. Go up to it, press R, and it's like, rip whatever it has. You can punch it and that gives you an upgrade to your weapon of choice and you'll earn points when doing missions or from combat and the more um tokens you get of those the more you can upgrade your weapons on extras uh, like i said it is a very much first person game Gonna go through there. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna chainsaw. The punch people. Punch them. Punch them. Would not recommend it. You're gonna die quick. All you do is like I'm just gonna punch these. Things. You're probably gonna die. Unless you get the power ups, which have a it has a time limit on it. There is different power ups. There's an invulnerability. There's sort of thing. Have your damage on four, which is called quad damage. Um, haste, which will make you faster, and then there's berserker, where you just go into straight punch mode, and you, what it doesn't matter how tough the enemy is, you're one shotting me. You are one shotting like Barrel. Aha! I'm gonna kill you. Punch, and it's dead. That simple gameplay. How it aged from 2016 to now. Weirdly enough, I can still see this kind of game coming out nowadays. And this was a PS4 game, but I can or Xbox One game. I can see this coming out now. Maybe a smidge better graphics if it was brought out now, but still roughly around this time frame. I could see. That's just on the graphics though. The animations. The enemies have some interesting animations. A fun one too. Like you see the M's and the M's are just like no. With that, the not AI attending doesn't learn how you fight, how they move depending on where you are on the map currently. That is um a really good thing, a really good thing. that is that aged real well. Animations looking good. The music, oh, the music is so good. When you're in combat, like the music amps up, warning you to ramp up. It wants you. To. I take these down. There we are. I mean, all in all, like I said, the game. It aged extremely well. Music, sound. Like, I'll take others away, those two. Sound of music. Like, music is like your soundtrack. What's going on. Sound is like, okay, the walking sound or talking of the gun sound. Again, the explosion. Like, that's different. Those worked out real well, too. Graphics, amazing. For its time, for 2016, it's still amazing. And that's only a seven years ago. 
Cool. So, like I said, the animation is good. That's good. The AI was well done. Uh, I will say, with this game, final thoughts on it. If, like, for Pick it up, definitely play it. If you haven't already played it, play it. You're only going to probably play this the uh, regular story mode because there is a multiplayer mode. But when I tried to load that up, I was waiting and nothing was popping up. If I moved on from the multiplayer of that game. <clears throat> but I would say give it a go. <clears throat> you. You're not the biggest fan of FPSs, but you still don't mind them. Go for it. You got right. Hey, first person shooters, you don't play. But I would still recommend this game to anyone. And with that, that'll complete our review. Except for the one thing is, we got to spin a wheel. So let's spin that wheel. And. Let me give you some information on this game we're playing. This game was originally released in 2008. It is a role playing video game, so an RPG. By Atlas. Originally released on the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. And it was July 10th. This game, I am playing the true version. It has everything. And that is the golden version of Persona 4. This week we're going to play a Persona 4 golden. So, tune in this week starting tomorrow. To watch me play some Persona 4 golden. And then... Hopefully we can beat it in a week. It is a lot to go through. But hopefully we can beat it in a week. So until next time, everyone. Let's have a good day. Have a good night. Keep it chill. And I'll see you in the next review. Till then. Bye. Quack.